everyone. I am on my way to one of my favorite little thrift stores. I am in desperate need of some inventory to resell. I have everything in my inventory at home listed on eBay and on Poshmark. See what I can find to resell for a profit. And when I get back, I will show you what I find. Back from the thrift store, I spent $7.50. I was able to get a quilt and a garbage bag full of clothes. And I'll show you the quilt first. It's a queen size. It's really pretty. Um, there are a few places on this quilt where it's coming apart and I'm gonna have to do some stitching on it, but that's no big deal. Um, just a beautiful quilt. She charged me two bucks for this quilt. So that was a really good buy. So I'll show you first the two bags that I got. They're both vintage. This is a Neiman Marcus purse and it is the alligator style. I don't know if it's real leather or not. It doesn't have a fabric tag inside of it. Doesn't really feel like it, but it's really classic looking. It's Neiman Marcus made in Canada and really cute purse. And purses at this store are 50 cents. So I got that and then I couldn't pass this up a vintage fanny pack by Sassoon. I don't know how well this will end up doing, but I just couldn't pass it up. So I have heard from the reseller community to be on the lookout for banana clips and hair combs that are vintage. And I got some here. This is a red, white, and blue set or a red, cream, and blue set of hair combs. And then I got a bunch of little banana clips and then I got this one here. I heard that the neon ones do really good. So I went ahead and picked all the banana clips up that they had and the hair combs. So we'll see how those do. I haven't really sold them before, but I have heard from other resellers that they are desirable right now. So I got this Mac Studio. This is an off shoulder. You can wear it as a blouse or a mini dress. It's got this cute little empire waist detail right here. And so it's really cute. It's like a chambray material. And this is a size large. And then I got a pair of Tommy Hilfiger boyfriend jeans. And these are from the 90s. The 90s are really hot right now. And so they're just a pair of cropped raw hem. And they're a looser fit style which is really on trend right now. So I picked those up. Jeans in this store are 50 cents and I was able to get two pair of jeans, I believe, yes. This pair of jeans is a pair of orange tab Levi's. These are from probably the 70s. I've sold a lot of different Levi's over the years and these to me look like they're from the 70s. And they're a higher rise. They got the orange tab and they have a shorter inseam on them. They do have some stains on the knees on both of them. They have been cut off and rehemmed. So I was thinking that I may either cut them off and distress them as a pair of cut off vintage Levi shorts, which is probably what I'm gonna do because I do like distressing shorts. Um, and I know they'll sell good like that. Or I may sell them as a pair of Project Levi's that somebody can cut off and distress them however they like. And I found this 90s American Eagle floral halter top. And here is the, here is the tag right here. I think it's a size 10. And so this is just a cotton summer halter top from American Eagle. I think that's from around the 90s. I ended up getting a couple of t-shirts for myself. I am in the midst of some weight loss right now and I'm in between sizes. And so I have been picking up different things for myself. I also picked up a pair of Old Navy linen pants for myself. These are, I love to wear these type of pants in the summertime. They're really comfortable and cool to wear. I got this jacket. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this or keep it. This is by Van Housen. And this jacket, I'm gonna put this down a little bit so you can see. This jacket is super cute. It's like a short jacket but it has a belt. I don't know if you can see it here, way down here. It has a little belt to it and I just thought it was so cute. So I may end up keeping this for myself or I may end up selling it. It's like a cotton unlined jacket and so we'll see about that. I also got this, um, just a cardigan cable knit sweater and this is by Croft and Borrow. It does have a little stain on the front here 
I think I can get that out. And I don't know if I'm gonna sell this or if I'm gonna keep it for myself, but I just thought it was a cute little sweater. I also got myself an apron. This is a handmade one. And I have a new cooking channel on YouTube and it's all about my weight loss and it's all about low carb eating. And I do some cooking on there and some recipes. So, so I just thought I would get this apron to wear maybe while I'm cooking. Next item that I got is a pink sweater vest. Okay, this is vintage, uh, Donegan. And I thought it was pretty cute. It's got the little buttons down here. And right now crochet items from the 90s are really popular, which is gonna lead me to my next two items that I got. But I went ahead and got this little vest and I'll put it on eBay and see. There's a following for vintage items and I think that I'll be able to sell that. I have these two crocheted knit tops. They're from Gap and they're from the 90s. They're both exactly the same. I don't know if I'm gonna do a lot on these or if I'm gonna sell them separately, but this is like a halter string sweater, let's see, top, okay? And then it's backless in the back. And then there's a white one, it's solid white. Here's the tag right here. I think they are a size large, which is actually a good size. And this one here has a little spot. Of course, it's white, so it's probably gonna have a spot, right? It's like right here in the front. And I think I won't have a problem getting that out. So I just went ahead and got these because 90s is on trend, crocheted items is on trend. And so yeah, we'll see how those do. Those were 25 cents each, by the way. And then I got for a dollar, I got this Michael Kors jumpsuit. Look at this cute little zipper detail here. And it has a little belt and it has these wide legs. And I'm not sure if this is, yeah, this is more like a cropped length, like a capri length. And I just thought that it was adorable. This is a size four. This is a smaller size. And so for a dollar, you can't pass that up. And then I got one more jumpsuit and this is by Monroe and Maine. And if I am correct on this, I think Monroe and Maine is like a boutique um, line, I'm not sure. But this is a strapless, stretchy jumpsuit. It's really silky feeling and it has these wide legs. Look at the legs, I love this jumpsuit. It is so silky and so stretchy and comfortable and it has no sleeves and it is all the way down to the floor length. So I definitely think for $7.50, I'm definitely gonna be making some profit on these items. So that is the end of my haul video for today. Thanks everyone for watching and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.